guys. Ugh. Guess what's inside this box right here? Yeah, you guessed it. Some more turtleneck FXs. If you're part of the April pre-order, you're for sure gonna get them. If you're part of the May pre-order, you're most likely gonna get yours in May. You guys know I recently threw one on the Event and Cinch. Check it out, what do you guys think? And I've already had it on the uh, Electric XP. All right, let's open up one of them, see what's inside. Hopefully they didn't scam me, you know what I'm saying? I'm just playing. Check it out, here is the stems, nicely packaged. This is probably order number 622s right here. 622 if you're watching, shout out to you. Boom, there she is, turtleneck FX. Here's order number 652 right here. 652, shout out to you, here's your stem. Okay, I already put in on another order of stems. A lot of you guys have been buying them most recently. And a lot of you guys actually been buying the uh, BMX bundle, so. I had to order some more BMX handlebars as well. But yeah, I'm about to go upstairs right now and inspect all of these stems, print up some shipping labels and ship these out today. If you guys want to pick up a turtleneck stem, the link will be in the description down below. It's davidbrandnew.com. This video is actually going to be a weekly vlog. This clip right now takes place after all these next clips. So um, yeah, just enjoy the video, hit the like button, and we'll see you when I see you. Okay. What's up, guys? It's a brand new day and we're gonna start this one off right. Today, I'm gonna be revisiting a long lost project. If you guys been with me for a long time, you guys know my first bike on this channel was Leticia. That was electric XP 1.0. You know, I ended up putting a really big motor on that joint, adding a 72 volt battery. The joint's fast as hell. It came a point in time where I was like, you know what? It's all go, no show. And we gotta put a little bit more into the look. So me and my dad most recently started a paint project with Leticia. We've already got her disassembled. We've actually already painted her. So what we're gonna do today is actually put her back together. Sorry for the loud ass freaking plane in the sky. I hope you're having a good time up there because you're ruining my video. Like I was saying, we're gonna be putting Leticia back together, so let's go ahead and get this started. So here's the box where Leticia resides. Let's go ahead and crack it open, see what we got up in here. Oh yeah, there's those big beefy tires we know. All right, so here's all the parts of the bike. I painted the whole frame tan, I painted the BMX pegs tan, the rear fender tan, the sprocket tan. All right, I think the first thing I'm gonna do is put on this front, uh, this front fork. I think that's probably the easiest thing I'm gonna do, and then we'll work our way to the back. Check out the bike now, guys. <laughs> what are we working with? Well, I forgot that I didn't have a handlebar over here, so this is what we're using. If you guys remember, this is from that OCC electric chopper bike that I ended up making. We actually have a bike now, so we're gonna go ahead and throw on the rest of the components. All right, we got the rear wheel on. My dad's currently working on putting on that rear fender. Check it out. And then I'm over here working on this uh, crank.
All right, next I'm gonna be working on these brakes. Super easy, just mounts right to the back. All right, I'm gonna work on this front brake. I know I have mismatched brakes. I'll eventually get matching ones. These are actually the better ones because they're kind of like hydraulics. And next we're gonna be working on the chain and derailleur. Like that, has to, that goes like this. So this goes like that. You see me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right guys, next step is we're gonna be putting on all these uh, components and stuff like that. I did end up finding my old handlebars. The color doesn't match. It is a blue, but it's cool. I'll change that at some point. Still found them. I didn't see them, mm -hmm. but there was this car parked on Nichols right in front of the park and uh, SUV and the light, the emergency lights were flashing. Mm -hmm. I pull over and I say, "Hey, you guys seen any bulldogs running on?" They say, "Yeah, we got. We put one in the back of our SUV and the other one's like right there." And uh, are they yours? And I was like, "No, but they're from my neighborhood." Mm -hmm. And um, I want to find the owner. Mm -hmm. So he said, "Okay, well, we'll just give them to you." So they took the one out of the um, of their SUV, mm -hmm. got the other one, I put them in the back seat of my cattle. Two beautiful bulldogs, right? mm -hmm. a boy and a girl. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. And so I'm driving around the neighborhood, and anybody who's outside in the garage or anybody who's just outside, I ask them, you know, do, do any of your neighbors have bulldogs? You ever seen anybody walking bulldogs? Mm -hmm. Nobody knew nothing. Dude, I'm driving down all kinds of streets because they could have been out for a long time. They could have came from anywhere. Mm -hmm. So there was this guy, his dad with his kid right on the corner of <sighs> Sierra Madre. And, uh, like right here where you're about to leave the neighborhood. Mm -hmm. I guess the kid was selling lemonade or something. Mm -hmm. Had lemonade mm -hmm. stand. Mm -hmm. The dad was just kind of sitting in his folding chair and I said, hey, um, here's my name and number. Give him my name and number. Mm -hmm. Anybody drives by here? So how long are you gonna be out here? He said, "Be out here a couple hours mm -hmm. with my kid." Anybody looking for their dog? Have them call me. Mm -hmm. So I'm driving around like like 30 minutes go by, mm -hmm. asking people. Nobody see these dogs, but nobody knows nobody with two bulldogs. I'm like, how can nobody see these two dogs? Mm -hmm. So I guess maybe the owner won't work. They never walk in the dog. Mm -hmm. So finally, my phone rings. It's this lady he says, hey, I got your number from the guy <laughs> on the corner. Those no are my dogs. way, dude. All right, guys, the moment of truth. I'm about to attach the 72 volt battery to the bike. Let's see if we have power. It's going to do a little spark. It used to do that back in the day. Here we go. Woo! Just like old times. Let me go ahead and turn on the power. See if we have any power. Boom, we have power, guys. Be careful with that throttle, daddy. The bike is going to take off. Twist it a little bit. Quick twist. Oh, we have power, guys. Hold on, hold on. Ready, one, two, three, guys. Woo! No brakes. <laughs> Goes down slowly. Boom. Well, well, yeah, look at me dead in my eyes. I know that you know that a nigga ain't lying. Too much respect. 
back. All of my shorty BDs, they know not to try. What you expect? I used to hand out CDs before they would buy. Well, she love me so much, I seen like she buys. Niggas don't know how I live, but that's cause they live at the high. Hey. Oh, L. Steps, he's stepping on shit to the spot. He brought me the money sealed up. I still had to count it, I can not just hide. Whoa. Whoa. Yeah, Alright, so here's our spot for the day. Let's go ahead and dive into this project. Here's the front motor that we're gonna throw on the bike. This is the battery. This actually came from Ingwe. This is the second battery I was supposed to mount on the bike. And then we have an extra controller right here. Got an extra throttle and we have an extra LCD. All right, first thing that we're gonna do is throw on this motor. Let's go ahead and flip the bike upside down. This is the same exact motor that comes on the bike. I believe the motor is like a 400 watt motor or something like that. The same exact power. I didn't want anything like super overpowered. Let's not make too much of a mess. A whole bunch of peanuts in here. The rim actually came with a tire too. Super dope. I think for now we're just gonna leave this tire on there. I just wanna see if it works. All right, let's take off this front tire. All right, let's put on the new hub motor. Luckily, this one didn't come with a, uh, a free wheel because normally the free wheel will be on there and you have to take it off. This one didn't come with one. Let's see if everything aligned. All right, it looks like it might not fit in these forks. So I might need to separate the forks a little bit because here, let me show you. Check it out, it's a little bit wider than the forks. Let's see if we can create some space. Ooh, that's tight, that's tight, that's tight. We're gonna skip this step for now. We're gonna move on to the controller. This is the same controller that comes on the bike. It's a 48 volt, 15 amp controller. So nothing crazy. All right, so we're gonna mount the controller on the back side of the bike. I think it'll fit perfectly right here. I'm just going to use some zip ties to mount it for now. Once we get everything connected and we're sure it works, I'll uh, order up like a controller bag, make it look nice and stuff like that. All right, next I'm going to attach the LCD screen to the controller. It should have a couple different colors on there. It looks like a red, blue, black, green, and yellow. Hello. Hi. Is that a new toy? New toy. Trying to make it faster. <laughs> <laughs> How are you going to do that? I'm going to attempt to add a second motor. So it already has one. Oh. I'm going to put another one on the front. Next, we're going to attach the throttle. This is what the throttle wire looks like. It comes with a red, white, and black wire. Okay. All right, let's go ahead and flip the bike over now and put these onto the handlebars. We need some water. Some water up in there. Twist that around. The grip should come right off. Right, grip is off. Let's go ahead and put this twist throttle on there. There's a little Allen screw on the bottom of this half twist throttle right here. You just need to tighten that and then it should lock onto your bars. All right, throttle is on. Let's connect the cable. Boom. Throttle is on. I'm not sure if I want to do it the same exact way as the other throttle, but if so, I got that piece right there. All right, next, we're gonna mount the battery. This is the best I can do. We just strapped it up with like a lot of zip ties, guys. Um, this is not gonna be the permanent solution. We're just doing this as a placeholder. What I'll most likely do is get some heavy duty double-sided tape, just put it on the uh, underside of this battery and it should stick pretty well. What's up, guys? Day number two. 
with the electric light project and man i had to just call it a day on that last one so this is where we're at currently in the project as you can see the freaking battery fell off um i did manage to get the front hub motor on there but as you can see we don't have front brakes i ended up going to uh, lowe's and picking up this double-sided tape it's like heavy duty so we're going to use a couple strips mount it right here on the top of the frame and then stick this little battery tray right on top and it should hold pretty strong i forgot to get an extra motor cable so we're gonna have to steal the motor cable off of my xp 3.0 at least for now, I just want to see if this works. And if so, then I'll go ahead and order another one for this one. All right, here's where the controller is housed. We need to remove these four screws right here. I just realized this is not going to actually work because this motor cable on the XP Lite is way smaller than this one. And it's like a completely different like motor cable too. Ooh. look it's completely different so i don't think it's gonna work i'm gonna have to order a new cable from electric i think we're just gonna call it a day on this project uh, i'm still waiting on some torque arms as well so yeah what's up guys back on the magic cycle deer i wanted to take this bike off-roading again i want to take it up a couple hills we're gonna go back to our favorite off-road area get some nice shot oh my god almost ran into the freaking bush whoa like i was saying we're gonna get some dope shots of this bike i also want to take it up a hill over there and see what type of power this bike is really working with okay we're gonna put this bike through the ringer we're gonna take a different route this time oh that looks pretty let's go through the grass this bike is full suspension and it does have nice beefy tires so it's gonna be a smooth ride oh my god I almost slipped out that was a lot of water there. <laughs> also don't have freaking fenders on this bike. Bad idea, Dave. All right, let's just go around all this. Oh, oh, whoa. Okay, rough terrain over here. All right, we made it out alive. Uh-oh, there's more? Jesus. All right, guys, here's our first hill. Let's see what this bike does. We're gonna pedal a little bit. Let's drop those gears. Give it some help. It should eat this hill quite fine. Whew. we are trucking up the hill oh yeah i'm not even putting any effort i'm just cranking those pedals and then the bike is doing all the work look at that it'd be crazy a freaking mountain lion just came out of nowhere oh my god what am i doing i'm not gonna lie i'm not a freaking professional photographer so i don't know if these pictures are good enough for the company but the bike is looking beautiful all right let's go down the hill now Nice. All right, this looks fun. I've actually never been over here. Oh, that's sick. Oh yeah. We'll go. We'll go back over there real quick. Hold on. Just want to see what's over here. Woo! Is that it for the trail? All right, that's it for that trail. <laughs> Let's turn around. Let's see what's over here real quick. This look dope. Oh, here's a jump. Ooh, that was sick. What is this? Oh, oh, a little pump track. Oh, I did that pretty bad. Oh my God. Ooh. That was rough, that was rough. Dude, there's so many freaking trails over here. God dang, I'm always finding something new. What's back here? Dang, they got a lot of stuff. This is dope. A little mini pump track. It's all flooded now, but I'm pretty sure it's nice when it's dried up. Dang, they really be doing it back here, guys. Dang. I'm not a professional, so I will not be hitting this. You already know what happened last time. <laughs> 
All right guys, headed back home. That's pretty much all I needed to do. I just needed to take a couple photos of this bike. I really just wanted to show it off to you guys a little bit more and take it off-roading up a couple hills. That's exactly what we did. I'm about to go back home right now and answer a couple emails and fulfill some turtleneck stem orders. I'm gonna try to be a little bit more consistent on the channel, even if it's me just riding the bikes and just vlogging pretty much, but stay tuned for more content. I got more e-bikes to review. We'll see you guys in the next video. And until then, Deuces like that. Yay!